Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're watching Backup Papa. I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to install Veeam Backup and Replication version 12. So I think you must be aware that Veeam has recently launched its version 12 with some great features. Even I have also created a separate video uh, on Veeam Backup and Replication version 12's new features. So if you have not watched my video, uh, then what I will do, I will copy the video link in the description box so you, you can go and uh, watch out the videos. Seriously, uh, Veeam has added some great features under the version 12. So without wasting our time, uh, let's move uh, to install Veeam Backup and Replication version 12. So I have already downloaded the Veeam uh, software ISO and also mounted here. Yeah, so you can see F drive. So once you click on F drive, so here you can see an icon with the name setup. So you just need to right click here and uh, run as it as an administrator. So once you run a pop-up will appear, so here you have to click on install button. So once you click on install, you will get three options here. Uh, install Veeam Backup and Replication, Install Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager and third is Install Veeam Backup and Replication Console. If you are planning uh, for the backup and replication, then you, you have to go with the option first. If you want a uh, backup along with the reporting, so you need to go with the second option. If you want only the console uh, on some other server or on any laptop, so you have to select the third options. So in our case, I'm going to select the first option that is Veeam Backup and Replication. So once you click Veeam Backup and Replication, uh, Wizard will open uh, that is showing like the initialization process has started. So we have to wait uh, for a few minutes. Yeah, so in the next tab, uh, it is asking for the license agreement. So if you want to read out the license agreement, so just click on this link and you can read out from here. So here I am clicking on I accept button. So once you click on I accept button, uh, next step will show you the license. So if you have a trial license or the production license, so then just copy it in any drive and just browse and uh, provide the license uh, file. So if you guys do not have the license file, then you just need to click on next. So once you do the next and community addition license uh, will get activated on the trial basis. Now click on next. So here it is, you can see uh, the software is ready to install. Uh, these are the some uh, default directories and the ports number uh, which are going to use by default. So if you want to uh, change this uh, directory or the port number, then you just need to click here, customize setting. And here it will ask you uh, to do the changes. Uh, like this is uh, talking about the service account. Once you click on next account, this page is talking about databases. So the guys who don't know, uh, like uh, earlier the Veeam software uh, uses the uh, database as MS SQL Express Edition, but from the version 12, uh, they have upgraded it and now they are using the PostgreSQL. So this thing are also mentioned in my videos, uh, whose link are in the description box. So you can go and check out. Now clicking next. So here it is asking to change the de uh, default path, uh, installation directory on the system catalog and the recovery right cache. And this is page is talking about the port configuration. So I'm not going to do any changes. Uh, so just to click on back. I'm using the default one and now clicking on install. So once you click on install, uh, installation page will appear that is called installing Veeam backup and replication. So here it is showing like the installation will get completed in eight steps. So right now step one is uh, 
going on that is installing the postgres sql server so accordingly uh, it will move to step 2 step 3 until step 8 so step 1 is uh, just installing the postgres sql so what i have told you like now from the version 12 uh, vim software uses the postgres sql earlier uh, it was using the ms sql express edition so now let's see what comes in the step 2 Yeah, so here you can see in the step two, uh, the software is trying to install Veeam backup and replication server. So let's see uh, what uh, comes in the step three. So in step three, uh, the software is trying to install Veeam backup and replication console, uh, which is used to uh, manage jobs, create a client, add uh, servers and all. So every activity will be monitored by the backup and replication console. In step 4, you can see the software is trying to install Veeam Explorers. So let's see what comes in step 5.
So here in step five, the software is trying to install Veeam agent uh, these distributables. Yeah, so here in step six, the software is trying to install the Veeam plugins for backup and replication. So in a step seven, uh, the software is trying to install the latest updates which are available. So this is the eight and the final step. Uh, in this step, the software is trying to finalize the installation and also trying to start the services of the component installed. So once the installation got completed, I will showcase you the Veeam backup and replication console. From there, you can create policies, you can add clients, and you can trigger backup and do the restoration part. Yeah, so as you can see, Veeam Backup and Replication version 12 has been successfully installed. Now I'm clicking on Finish button. So now here you can see a shortcut has been created for the Veeam Replication and Console. So once you double click here, it is asking for the credentials to log in over the console. So I'm using the localhost credentials uh, using the Windows Session Authentication. Just click on connect button. So this console you can uh, install on any other server also. So from there you can manage this uh, backup server. So here you can see the license is showing the community edition. So if you do not have a trial license or production license. So by default uh, the software will use the community edition. So in the next video, I will showcase you how you can create uh, any particular job uh, through the help of Veeam backup and replication software. So here, uh, just click on apply. So the software is trying to update. So a job has been triggered uh, that is trying to collect the disk and volume information. Yeah, so here it is showing like all components have been upgraded successfully. So now I'm clicking on finish button. So that's it guys. So in the next video, uh, I will showcase you how you can create a job uh, through the help of Veeam backup and replication console and also how you can add uh, in clients uh, on this uh, portal. So thank you for watching. I hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this video and found it uh, informative.
so if you liked uh, what you saw uh, please consider uh, giving this video a thumbs up and help to subscribe my channel also uh, if you have enjoyed this video we encourage you to share it with your family and friends uh, you know sharing is always caring and it help us uh, to reach a wider audience once again thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much